by starting on a very heavy yet necessary topic, sexual harassment. We've seen the unacceptable behavior, particularly in Hollywood, which will be the focus of this discussion. Girls, let's start with the whole Harvey Weinstein situation. What's, what are your thoughts? He's clearly sick. Yes. He's a pig. He mm -hmm. has a problem. Yep. Um, I think he deserves getting fired. He deserves everything that's happening. I think that the women who have come out are very courageous. Absolutely. Some of them, you know, now it's like 50, more than 50, right? Mm -hmm. um, different women. Um, but I also think one thing. I think that well, like this. the women who went there and went up to the hotel suite, they have to have had an idea of what that could lead to. Mm. Yes. Mm. And I think that that idea is not enough to not go. Yep. Depending on the person. Maybe well, for you. For me, yeah, definitely. But yeah. any idea where that uh, where I'm like, oh, there could be danger there, but what I what's the fact of the matter? Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is is there could be danger or it could be totally safe. I've been to an audition in the attic of a pub in the middle of nowhere, England, and it was a legitimate audition. Same. Mm -hmm. But you never know. So this, this is something that I always have an issue with. I think that we have to start off by teaching our boys not to rape and not worry about our girls, what they're wearing, where they're going, what they're doing. First thing that we got to teach our boys is rape is wrong. Yeah. Let's start there and let's stop blaming the victims. No, I've gone, I didn't blame the victims. Oh, no, you're not, you're not. But I'm saying in general because I see a lot of that in the media today and a lot of like TV shows that they always say, well, she should have known better. Oh, yeah, she had her legs oh, out. Sure, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. No, mother effer. She shouldn't have known better. The guy should have not, you know, harassed yeah. her. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing. With Fiona, I've been to auditions in hotel rooms. I've been to auditions in, in lobbies. I've been to auditions, God knows, in sketchy places that turned out to be okay. And you asked me to in our mm -hmm. production meeting, if I knew that this guy had some sort of reputation, would I still go? If he was going to break my career, I'll take a friend with me, but you better believe I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Mm -hmm. There's no question about but it. But that brings me to the whole victimization thing. Mm -hmm. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, props to all you ladies out there who have been strong enough to voice yourself, albeit maybe too late. But at the end of the day, if someone puts their hand on you or does something physically harassing, but is not rape, and they say, ooh, girl, you best know I'm going to say, you touch me one more time, I brother, mm. and we're going to have a big problem. Right. I got 911 on dial. I got my homie outside. Mm. Yeah. Right? I'm going to voice right then and there. Yeah, I get don't that. Don't give me the money. Don't give me the job. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. But sometimes you don't have that warning. Mm -hmm. No, that's You don't rape. have that opportunity yeah, to have that rape. warning. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So Th but those I are think two that different things. for you to go um, somewhere knowing that there can be a possibility of, some, of something happening, mm -hmm. that's... Not okay. No, so I before can get... we teach our kids or our men to not rape, we have to teach the industry and the workplace that having meetings in hotel rooms are not acceptable. Right. That having auditions in sketchy places are not acceptable. And instead of us being the ones to be like, oh, I got this, I can hand this, you know, Hollywood hopefuls, if something happens or something doesn't happen. No, we are the one we have to aim for being able to say no. I'm not yeah, going. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm not going because I don't think that's appropriate and not have the fear that that can give you a consequence, a financial consequence. Yep. Yes. And that, that can not yes. bring totally you what you're... With you. what, that totally yes. agree Yeah, you know, you. take away a dream from it you. It should, that's away. what we have to yeah. aim for. It shouldn't be that way. Yeah. It shouldn't be I an agree. accepted thing in the industry where we say, oh, well, we're just going to have it in the hotel room and the people who are ballsy enough to come will come. That shouldn't be how it is. No. Yeah. no but I at agree. the end of the day, this industry is all about confidence. Mm -hmm. It's all about confidence. It's all about authenticity, and it's all about bravery. Yeah. So I could go into a subway in New York City and have the same thing happen to me at two in the morning. Yep. But I'm not going to not go into the subway. Right. At the you end know, of the that's day, different. that's no, a no, of different course. situation. But if I go into a hotel room and I have an audition, and the guy puts his leg or his hand on me like this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You guys see mm -hmm. that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say, what are you doing with your hand on me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of women who won't say a thing because of fear. Yeah. Yeah. So and it, that 
a fear lot of, the of time, losing an opportunity. Fine, yeah. that's on them. Right. Yeah. That whatever. is on you, mama. Yeah. yeah. That's on you. You open your mouth and you stand up for yourself in that mo moment. Mm -hmm. So well, it's your uh, point to be brave. But that's the thing. Like this, w w another thing that we also have to take into consideration, like we are wired like that. True. We are wired like that. Not everyone is wired like that. It happened to me a couple of weeks ago. I went to an audition with an Argentinian executive producer that knows everyone, and he's showing me scripts and pictures and storyboards. I know the guy is connected. And I knew just based on his conversation, he just gave me that look, and I'm like, you know it's not going to happen, right? I'm either going to read the script and I'm going to walk out the door. Your choice, right? And it switched. He just said to me, you think like a man. And I'm like, yep, I think like a man. And it, the, everything just changed in that moment. But we are, not everyone is wired the way we're wired. And that's mm -hmm. the thing. And I agree with you. It shouldn't come as a consequence of me saying no, that I'm blackballed. It's unfair. I, mm -hmm. It's agree. completely unfair. I agree. No, yeah. But it's an unfair industry yeah. in no, general. It is. Yeah, it is. It's an unfair industry. What I'm saying is that I think that before we um, try to correct the mistake, afterwards mm -hmm. like oh, Yo, yeah. no no we should be able to ha be having this and nothing's gonna happen no because humans are humans and humans mm -hmm. make mistakes what we should be doing is cutting it from the root mm -hmm. yeah nip it, in the butt. nip it in the butt i know no. that we're um short on time but i basically put on here that no matter what there should be no tolerance